Atlanta the Glutes, Jack Camilio at a Holbrook, Massachusetts. We keep an eye on him. Daniel LaPlaca with us out of Brooksville, Florida. Charlie Lanza at Ashburg, Pennsylvania. James Nagy out of Dunham, Florida. John Major out of Preston, Connecticut. It's Chris Fairclaw out of Macon, Georgia. Richard Bresman out of Shamsburg, Ontario, Canada. We got Brian Sinner with us out of Carlisle, Pennsylvania. Paul Goyette out of Westfield, Massachusetts. Port Orange, Florida. The home of Rick Shugel. Barry Carson out of Bayville, New Jersey. From Manhattan, Montana. It's going to be Jeff Vanderberg. That's Hawkeye. Grand Rapids, Michigan brings us Andrew Bourne. John Gruy out of Rockford, Michigan. Timothy Van Der Veen is out of Freedom, Wisconsin. From Donna Park, Pennsylvania, it's going to be Richard Tunzio. You got Rich Wingler here with us. He's out of Ann Arbor, Michigan. Springfield, Ontario is the home, oh, excuse me, Springville, Oregon is the home of Mike Miller. We got Tallahassee, Florida resident Earl May on board with us out of Chapachet, Rhode Island is Mike Genero. Out of Weatherford, Texas, Don Bichelia. Marietta, Georgia brings us to Frank Mann, Jr. From Newberry, Florida, our local writer Wayne Handling. Out of Charlotte, Michigan, it's Brian Haichu. Lantana, Texas, the home of Chris Walters. Francis Corso is with us. Out of McClendon, New York, from Thornbury, Ontario, Canada, it's going to be Chris Bruno. Jeff Snow on the SDC back ride out of Niceville, Florida. Brian Kidner is with us at a Fife Lake, Michigan from Weatherly, Pennsylvania. It's going to be Galen Dixon, round number 930. That's our lineup at the plus 50 Masters class. That's race number eight, and it's coming up next. We'll head down to the podium where Wes Kane will have our 12 and up women's competitors. And the top three riders will celebrate that championship we just wrapped up here at the 2019 Thor Minios presented by Pro Circuit. Our plus 50 class riders coming on through here, searching out the green flag, and there is your leader. Looks like it's going to be the Foxback rider, John Gruy. Gruy starts things off, a first place qualifying run for him. Barry Karsten out of Bayville, Jersey, New Jersey, excuse me, round number 31 there, aboard the Bromley Suzuki up into that second spot, the longtime Kawasaki campaigner. That's going to be Earl May in the third spot. Don Bichelia, Galen Dixon, Paul Goyette, Chris Walters, Mike Miller, John, Jack Camilio, and James Nagy will run in the top 10 for you. So that's a good look at our top plus 50 class riders as they continue to work their way around here on this opening lap. We'll take it down to the Yamaha podium and Wes Kane for the celebration. Thanks a lot, Jeff Hines. I've got my third place finisher in that moto. Come on, Hannah Hodges, congratulations. Well, not what you wanted, but you got her up on the box, you're healthy, you're good. Tell me about it. Yeah, I got off to a great jump, and then uh, kind of same thing that happened on Supercross. I think I cracked another piston. I was just trying to get the bike through the finish, but I had fun this week. You know, the two-stroke was awesome, and uh, everyone behind me has been great, so it was overall a good week. What do you want to thank? Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, keep me safe, my mom and dad, my mechanic, Jake, uh, Newground, Moto Shop, Troy Lee Designs, Alpine Star, Scott, Dunlop, um, MGX, Pro, um, Pro Circuit, and TLR for building me a sweet 125 thing. Ran sick all week. And anyone else I forgot, thank you. All right, good job out there, Hannah Hodges. Taylor Aldred, come up here. We have the silver medal for you. And the silver will go to Taylor Aldred. Congratulations. All right, come on over here. Got the silver medal. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I feel pretty good. Uh, I got off to a good start. Um, I think first lap I tried to make a move around Hannah, and then Jordan was killing it out there, so I just kind of paced behind her. What do you want to thank? Uh, the whole KTM Orange Raid crew, my mom, my dad, Dave from Scott, uh, Monster Army, Factory Connection, Pro Taper, and just anyone else I forgot. Thank you. All right, congratulations out there. Taylor Aldred going to finish up second. And now the champ with the gold medal. The gold medal out there. Jordan Jarvis, come on up to the box. And the gold medal, Mike Burkeen with the number one plate, guys. Jordan Jarvis coming over here. Hold that number one plate up. There's your champ, guys. Jordan Jarvis, hold it up. Jordan got to be pretty pumped out there. Tell me all about it. Yeah, this is so awesome. This is probably, this week has been so important to me. Like. Three weeks ago, I didn't even know if I was going to be able to come and make this race. So to come out here and, and ride pretty well, I mean, Taylor's keeping me honest the whole time. She's, she's doing great right now. 
Uh, but just to come out here and have so much fun, and I, I don't think I've not had a smile on my face this whole week. I just I love being out here. Who do you want to thank? My mom, my dad, the NORAD family for uh, actually lending me this engine after practice when mine blew up. Yamaha, Trying Cycles, Fox, FMF, um, CTI, Engine Ice, Motul, uh, Hammer, Nutrition, Polar Global, SOB. Everyone, thank you guys so much. I couldn't have done any of this without you. All right, Jordan Jarvis, congratulations. And you get the champagne toast. Congratulations. Take it away, Jeff Hines. We're celebrating down on the podium. Yes, sir, we are. We got John Gruy celebrating with a good run out in front, and rightfully so. He's turning sub two-minute lap times, even in the traffic. Ride at number 70 on the Team Green Kawasaki ride is up in front, and he turns a 158 and four-tenths to bolster that run up in front. He'll put the third lap to bed right there with that run underneath the pro circuit up uh, easy up and the checkers gonna be coming out for him in just a few laps right there let's see if he'll maintain that fast pace barry karsten in the second spot turns a two oh uh, two minute flat this time and right number 31 definitely on the move there's earl may he runs a 202 and 37 hundreds right there so that is the third spot for the number 82 kawasaki mounted rider out of tallahassee florida as we look over the top three for you in the overall, that is still the way it is breaking down for you. So again, John Gruy with the first place ride could pick up the championship. He's got a first and a first, so two points. Second and a second for Barry Coston, obviously four points. And then Earl May with a couple of thirds gives him six points. That's the top three that are scrambling to hold on to those positions to meet with Mess Kane down there on the podium. Don Michelle, Galen Dixon. Now go fourth and fifth. Paul Goya in the sixth position. Chris Chris Walters in seventh. Jack Camilio is in the eighth position. It's Mike Miller in the ninth spot. And James Nagy, he's got a top ten run going on aboard the Suzuki. It would take a real strong run by Don Michelle, yeah, but don't think he couldn't get it done. He's got a five and a four. That's just nine points to his credit. But it'd be a real charge there to get around Earl May. May again continues with some pretty, uh, some pretty solid lap times in the 202 and 4 tenths range right now. Uh, two minute flat and 38 hundreds there by Barry Karsten. And again, John Gruy will dig a little bit deeper. And on this next lap, he goes into the 158, well, a 159 flat basically for Gruy. So at just about two minutes, or excuse me, two seconds faster than anybody else on the track. And of course, with that solid positioning up front, John Gruy looking good. It's going to take a lot to derail his run to the front in this one. Plus 50 Masters Class Second Moto Championship up for grabs. Show got some food up there, and that is some breakfast barbecue, and it, it is cooking. I tell you, man, those guys have set up set us up throughout the evening. I know many times over at the mess hall, we've had some great barbecue coming out of that. A uh, young man cooking that thing out for us, and I'll tell you what, man, I am jelly up here looking at that big old barbecue sandwich. That's a southern-style thing right there, barbecue in the morning. Nothing wrong with it. It's good any time of the day. It's good any time of the day. Just like John Gruy, you put the guy on a racetrack, and he's good any time of the day. Look at him across the big step up right there for you. Pardon the pun, but look at him. He is making his way through some lap traffic right there. Earl May. In the third spot, Barry Carson trying to stay in the same picture as Gruy, but Gruy obviously pulling out a stellar performance, has the number 70 Kawasaki ride out there on rails and continues to make it look easy when we all know it ain't. There's no doubt about that. Out of Rockford, Michigan, on the Team Babbitt's Kawasaki Team Greenback ride, he'd like to thank Fox, Dunlop, FMF, Decal Works, Faction Action, Bell, Dubia, Renthal, Henson, Tamer, and Twin Air. A win for the 53-year-old rider on his Kawasaki early and a big run up in front in moto number two as him staring down the barrel of a championship here at Gatorback. It's the Thor last lap out on the track. The white flag is out, and Gruy is trying to cleanly circulate one more time to bring it on home. That doesn't look like it's going to be a problem for the rider out of Michigan. 
And an excellent run by Barry Karsten out of Bayville, New Jersey. The longtime Bromley Suzuki campaigner on the 31 ride. Of course, I'd like to thank the folks at Answer Scott, Arad, Dunlop, FMF, Sunstar, Decal Works, Twin Air, KPS, Traction MX, and the folks at South of the Border MX. He brings a second place ride in here, Barry Karsten, also 53 years of age aboard the Suzuki. Earl May, the hard charging rider out there on the perennial number 82 bike. With us out of Tallahassee, again, the Kawasaki Team Green Pro Circuit, Fox, Oakley, Dunlop, Renthal, Twinner, Maxima, Kissimmee Motorsports back rider. I'd like to thank Motion Pro, Step Up and Megs, Science of